Hi Cancer, welcome to your May general forecast. Now let's take a look what's going to be coming your way this month. Hmm, Cancer. It seems like there's a younger ear sign that will be um, ripping your heart apart. I feel like this is either more of a child or someone who is younger than you. And it seems like this person is acting so cruel against you at this point and you're just waiting for the right time or the right answer or the right opportunity for you to cut this person off out of your life There's an air sign that you're, you know, that you're connecting spiritually. And it seems like, you know, in this realm or in this uh, dimension, the two of you soulfully needs to learn a lesson from each other. And there's a lesson that you need to learn from each other. It seems like there are some, you know, some things that you need to break through when it comes to your sexual relationship or to your marriage or to your, yeah, uh, to your union at this point. Because, you know, if you're used to the normal things that you do, there are some things that you need to, you know, like uh, think out of the box just to ignite and just to... Uh, fire up your passion for each other because the two of you are so bored and it seems like your sex life is just like you know just for the heck of doing it not really for the art of loving and uh, you know making love but it's more of out of habit Okay, now, Cancer, it seems like you need to draw the line with this younger air sign, as I feel like they've been hurting you over and over again. And even though they know their boundaries, they don't really care, okay? It's time for you to put your foot down and, uh, you know, start building up some walls, and you need to draw the line where this person could only come across or whether, you know, or how far they can only go to you, Okay. And uh, even though you have a lot of passion, love, care, and you know you're you're crazy about this person, but it seems like you also need to love yourself, okay? Because this person is just gonna keep on hurting you and will just keep on slicing you up, you know. Um, even though you've been doing a lot of things to reach out and to communicate to bridge the gap it seems like this person is still the one who's been like acting so stubborn and they feel like you know like you owe them okay so this month you need to sit down and ponder and wait for them to really just reach out and uh, you know realize their loss or realize your presence or value your presence 
and if ever that this person won't uh you won't reach out at a time that you will be giving them then it's time for you to move on or it's time for you to just leave them behind and let them catch up with you later on because if this person you know let's say for example that this is a lover or this is just like a you're in a relationship with if this person is really meant to be with you they're going to catch up on you and they you will still cross their path no matter what but if this person is not really meant to be in your life or not to be in your path then wherever you you will leave them that's the only time and that's the last time that you'll be seeing them okay so but i still feel like the two of you will still be crossing paths but this person needs to learn <clears throat> their lesson and this person needs to learn how to value people that comes in and out of his life because you can't just keep on pushing people out of your life out because of your fears because of your you're too paranoid or because you're too defensive okay let this person come to you at their own space and volition and you just need to wait and love yourself while you're doing it okay or while you're waiting for them or while you're waiting for him and there is a fire sign from the past that will make you happy momentarily you know it's an older fire sign that will be giving you a lot more time attention care and will also be treating you out and uh, will be you know giving you it's like a temporary happiness but then you feel like this is not really the person that you can see yourself with being in the long run or being in a long-term relationship so you will be walking away and you're the one who'll be bailing out of your friendship or relationship all right now let's take a look at your finances now when it comes to <clears throat> when it comes to your finances it seems like uh, you need to wait for a little bit there will be a brand new beginning but then uh, the opportunity is still raw at this point you need to deal with someone who's another air sign okay which is it's a woman who is a sharp tongue and they're very uh, critical callous and it seems like they don't have any heart you know uh, sometimes people call her as the mistress of uh, the devil or something like that and you still need to surpass this person or this woman's scrutiny before you can really get the opportunity that you're waiting for that you've been aiming now there will be a big transition okay that will become your way or that you will be going through and you'll be very happy with the patience that you'll be putting up with this person or with this task or with this challenge because definitely you will be getting the price of your hard work and hard labor okay you will be rejoicing and you'll be celebrating your um your victory by the end of the month and it seems like there will be another big start for you when it comes to your career and expect that there will be some people who will also be going your way or who will also be blocking your way okay now there is a new contract that you will be signing make sure that you will be aware of everything that will be stipulated there rather than just uh, you know being surprised with everything that is not being spoken or that everything that will not be discussed okay now let's take a look at your love life now you are connecting to someone who's an air sign another air sign you and air sign this month cancer air sign at work air sign in your love life let's take a look later on now you want to connect with this person spiritually and you are you know it's like you're just trying to turn your attention or provoke your attention uh, towards your work or to you know to the betterment of your career but you can't help yourself not to think and not to feel or miss this air sign in your life and even though you still want to work on the opportunities or you still want to work on the chance or you still want to work on your new beginnings again you know to yourself that there is something that the, the other person should do okay you can't just keep on moving forward and you know stepping up you also need to give them some space to move around so that they can also do their other half okay or the relationship and your you know the good thing here is 
your um uh your finances and your work will have like a very positive turn okay but just be very careful because there is someone who will also be betraying you or setting you up as i've said expect that there will be some people who will be blocking your way and will be jealous of your um progress and development now you know to yourself that this person is still you know is a kind of messing around with someone you know and it's a fire sign another fire sign and with this you don't even know if you should still give this person another chance or if you should still you know um think about moving away or separating and I feel like you thought that the, they've already parted ways and they've already cut off their communications. But then this month you will still learn that they are still messing around with each other. and They are still communicating. Okay. So there will be a move. And there will be, you know, there will be a, uh, like a big change that will be coming your way. And because of that, it seems like you will be opting for a temporary um you know retreat and you will be looking for like um a temporary clues as well you know uh to recuperate and to heal your broken heart and to heal your broken wings as well sometimes we just need to have some space in a relationship so that we can find ourselves again and so that we can also find the answers that we've been looking for because if we'll just stay in a place where we feel suffocated in the same place or the same area where that person is then we won't be able to hear the messages that our guides or spirit uh, sorry spirit guides or angels that are sending us our way because we are too blinded with the hurt the pain the anguish and we are too blinded by our self-anger okay so there will be some changes in your home environment or there will be some changes to wherever you will be moving or to you will be relocating temporarily okay but then right after the re that realization you will gonna you will come back and you'll be reunited again there will be some truths or there will be some you know like the two of you will sit down and talk what is it you know what is it, what is it going to be this time where do we really go from here what do you really want from me what do you really want from this relationship is it like do you really want it to end permanently or do you just want us to work it to work it out and the good thing here is your relationship is full of strength okay there is a strength in this you know in this relationship or in this union that even though you've been having a lot of hard times communicating understanding giving and pleasuring each other you still you know you still want to hold on to that one last hope and you still want to continue tying the knots and you know bridging all those gaps and you still want to you know to to prolong it as long as you still have you know the uh, the cut edges or the uh, you still have the uh, the other you know the other chances or other reasons and other hmm, what other piece of uh, your love story hmm. other, you know it, as long as you still have feelings for each other there are times that you really want to move away and to move on but you still keep on convincing yourself that there's still you know a chance and that there is still you know um a reason for the two of you to still continue being together now when it comes to your sex life as i've said you need to think more out of the box and you need to be more explorative and um, i feel like there will be some things that the two of you will be you know um giving getting much more excitement or that you, you will be giving you, you know, like an idea okay for you to make it a little bit more exciting even though you you know the two of you have already gained weight or even if the two or even if one of you have already gained weight you will still be able to enjoy your sex life and uh, you'll be finding some new ways to enjoy each other this is how strong you are now okay you're gonna be a little bit irritated you know at um, 
uh, when the time comes that it's your, you know, when the red flag is up. So it's more all about uh, oral pleasure, you know, that you will be giving to each other. And uh, even in small ways or in some quick ways that you will be pleasuring each other, you will find um, not really happiness. But there is a small chance that the two of you or hope, you know, that you could see that this could still work out. The only thing that you will have in mind is what about the fire sign? What about the other person? And then right after getting all this, you know, see? Uh, they're still going to be like uh, hiding. But... <sighs> There, there will be some, you know, they will be seizing their communications and they will be, um, you know, uh, stopping their connections for a little while. But then right after seven weeks or seven days, uh, hopefully seven months, uh, they're going to get back together and, uh, you know, escape again. So this is something that you need to deal, you know, separately on the other hand. Now, when it comes to your health, I feel like it's more all about your vanity. That you're going to be very conscious and you'll also try to get back in shape, lose weight or gain weight. And it seems like you'll be extra conscious to your diet or to your food. And I feel like if you are smoking, it's time for you to stop it because you will notice some blisters or some infections in your gums, throat and you will also have a hard time breathing especially um you know the chronic bronchitis that you'll be getting from it okay and also be careful with the for singles be careful with the um sexual partners that you'll be meeting especially if you don't really know them if they're you know if they are um hygienic or not and aside from that um painful cramps that you will be going through this month and uh, it will also help you to, you know, to release your stress and to detoxify if you will be taking a trip near the water. And if you would just, uh, you know, if you would just, um, mm, well, just try to curb down your smoking. Because the, uh, the major thing that I can see that will be affected will be your teeth and your gums. And your, you know, there's like an awful smell that will be coming out from your nostrils. That's another thing. Let's take a look at your oracle cards. Um, Eight of Abundance. This is, this is a time of learning and honing your skills. You may feel inspired to go back to school, take seminars on topics that fascinate you, or educate yourself in the healing arts. This is a good time to change jobs or make a career move. The key to success is in the details. Monitor your projects carefully. Eight of thought, you may feel as though you're restricted, you're restricted by the circumstances you find yourself in, but that's just an illusion. Make a promise to yourself and refuse to be stuck in a situation that's making you unhappy. Don't wait for someone to come to the rescue when you can free yourself. Open your heart, allow love to grow and bloom all around you. You've waited for this emotionally fulfilling experience for such a long period of time. And now, is the t now the time has come. Make your choices by listening to your heart and then following the steps you're guided to take. Joy will lead you to a vibrant and healthy life. Seeing clearly, it's time to view things from a different perspective. You have a blessed gift to see the past, current situation and envision amazing possibilities. Don't worry, deposit the momentum while you rethink your plan won't last. Embrace your uniqueness and allow it to serve you. My dog is actually trying to get my attention. Um, anyway, that's, uh, that's it for you for this month, the Gemini. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live in the calls, just go and visit me at my website. That's sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.